So I watched Gully Boy again. I think it was on Amazon Prime. Now, I love the movie, okay? I loved Gully Boy. Uh, but I was still a little underwhelmed. Uh, I, I was expecting a little more from the film, I think. It remains to be seen if it really becomes the cult film that it was portrayed out to be, especially when the first trailer broke out, and I think it was in January, uh, early in 2019. But, um, yeah, I mean, it had its moments. I mean, uh, but but in my opinion, as far as the subtext of the visual film is concerned, I think there was a lot left to be desired. Largely shallow. I don't think uh, I don't think rap in Bombay has really much to talk about beyond the fact that you know the hustle in the city is so difficult and blah blah blah, and of course the. The socio-economic divide is always something um, that hip hop will, you know, feed on. So as far as the moment is concerned, but I'm not sure if hip hop is here to stay in India in the long run because um, when hip hop actually started in the the ghettos in America, it, there were very different socio-cultural um, contexts. So India is not there as far as I'm concerned. It's 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 quite different. But anyway, so but I wanted to point out something when I saw Gully Boy recently. It was Kalki Koekla and her character. I had an inkling when I first saw it. I thought it was an extremely unnecessary part. It was almost like the scriptwriter was asked to, you know, somehow fit in a character who comes from the upper strata of society, but at the same time she is a free spirit, and because she is from the upper socio economic class, so to speak, she has to be fair, and you know, she has to be some kind of an Anglo and. Um, she obviously has to, you know, prey on subculture, and that's that's her status. She's a rebel of sorts, and yada yada yada, all that stuff. But I, I must say, I mean, her character was probably the most unnecessary addition to the overall script in Gully Boy, and it sort of weakened the film right at the middle when it was gaining pace and momentum. I think the Kalki Koekla montage probably lasted a good twenty-five to thirty minutes in the film. And I thought it was so unnecessary, man. I mean, you already have made your point. I mean, he comes from a less privileged background. He fights against all odds, circumstances, and he chooses, you know, artistic expression, and that is his route out of poverty. And now he elevates the status of his own slum and all that stuff. But if you had to drive home the point that there exists a massive divide, and you had to bring in a kalki to prove it, I think it's it's. It's really sad, especially in 2019. I think, especially people from Bombay, we know the divide, man. We already know. Even if, even if we come from privileged backgrounds, there will be at least a good chunk of us who have friends who who probably still live in the slums. I mean, it's it's very normal in uh, colleges and schools in Bombay to grow up with these kind of uh, these kind of kids, you know. And they're just normal, man. It's just it's just it's just a way of life in Bombay. Hustle is a way of life, but. My point is that when will Bollywood get over the fact that Kalki Koekla is so fair and she's almost white looking, right? When will we stop actually caricaturizing her looks just to fit her in to a particular script? I don't think Kalki Koekla has ever had a natural script written around her as a normal human being. Perhaps maybe Dev Lee, and I think there was the girl in the yellow boots. All under a kasha because he knows how he knows how to, you know, fit in a, an odd ball like Kalki into the narrative. But I think a lot of other more mainstream directors have just miserably failed. I think Zoya Akhtar made an attempt in Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara where she was sort of pitched as this normal naturalized Indian. It still came across as a little forced and a little harsh, and it's a little sad that we can't somehow. Portray someone like a Kalki as a naturalized citizen of this country. Um, it's it's just one of those things. I mean, not many people talk about this, but there's the there still seems to be this subliminal sort of reverse racism happening in in that that we sort of still venerate fair skinned models, fair skinned actresses. Sure, but at the same time, we we can't help but stereotype them into scripts. And uh, 
yeah the, in my opinion that was probably the weakest segment of the entire movie kalki koikla's character did not really add up to the overall narrative of how murad comes comes of age and becomes a superstar hip hop artist i mean yeah i i just hope that one day i see kalki koikla playing herself more on screen or a more relatable character less stereotyped and uh, more natural yeah i think i think we indians need a little bit more authenticity as far as bollywood is concerned so yeah that's just me i mean feel free to let me know in the comments if you agree with this i'll be interested and curious to know the reactions to this but if you think that kalki is not being stereotyped in bollywood i would like to hear about it i would like to hear what you have to say about it so yeah that's me until next time take care